Six million out. We didn't win that at six hundred and twenty million. And uh, you know, I got my ticket for that. How about yourself? No, not yet. I, I, I said this last night, uh, but so I, I don't think I will. Someone should play these numbers. My numbers that I forecast: high temperatures the next five days. What do you think? You think that'll still strike, Michael? Yeah, why, well, I mean, we're not going to find out if we don't play. Yeah, and I think if you do win on these numbers, you're going to share with this meteorologist. Okay, make everyone a little happy. But those are the high temperatures. Normally, we're at fifty-seven. It's going to be a struggle, folks. The warmest we get is 52 degrees. So good luck, Central New York, once again for tonight. And I'm sure I'll be here Saturday morning as well with the forecast. Fossil service experts live triple Doppler radar. What we do have is some rain showers coming in southeast and to the east of Lake Ontario. A little bit quieter right now after some rain earlier today into the Finger Lakes. That'll be picking up as this starts to shift once again a little bit further to the southwest. Pretty much perfect conditions for the lake effect this evening. Southeast of the lake. It's not as heavy as last night's rain. Showers become a little bit lighter. And I think uh, later tonight it changes over to scattered snow showers and flurries and really weakening quickly tomorrow morning. Our evening commute not bad in downtown Syracuse. It's dry. We've got the showers in many spots and at the highest elevations. Let's head on up towards Old Forge at well few flakes flying around page not far away from West Turin, Greg, Lowville. You just go up to the Tug Hill and we've got some flurries there as well. But so far it's really not adding up. But as the temperature comes down, some minor snow accumulation possible on the hilltop. So here's what you need to know for tomorrow. Increasing afternoon sunshine. Did I just say that? Yes some brighter skies that may not equate to warmer temperatures. Not as cold near 50 for Friday, but we're going to lose that sunny feeling, I think. So here's the future cast for tonight. Dealing with the clouds, the lake effect southeast of the lake primarily. A little bit better later this evening up to the north and over the Finger Lakes, but Onondaga surrounding counties mainly gray. We're seeing the rain showers going over to wet snow showers. Even in Syracuse, we'll get a couple of flakes flying, but it does weaken to scattered flurries and just a few light flurries early tomorrow morning, then mostly cloudy. I am optimistic for the afternoon. Partial sunshine turning to a mix of sun and clouds a little bit quieter as we finish the day heading into Friday. Just some clouds do roll back in for Friday and here's the snowfall projection map only up to one inch. These light blue areas south southeast of Syracuse over the Adirondacks and the Tug Hill. Most of that's going to be down there by 5 a.m. tonight. So change over to snow showers in the forecast tonight, tapering to scattered light flurries. Very few of us get that minor snowfall accumulation. Just don't want to be surprised if you do see that on your car windshield tomorrow morning as you head off to work. You might need a couple of minutes to brush it off, but it shouldn't impact roads much. 33, 44, our high tomorrow. A few flurries early on, sun and clouds by the afternoon. So we're quite cool tomorrow. Still chilly to start Friday, but we get up to 50. It's a dry day, one of the warmest. That gets my not as the pick day. Pretty lousy there Saturday, breezy, rainy, raw, 45. Showers continue with clouds on Sunday, maybe not as persistent the rain. Scattered showers on Monday. Some improvements as we go into Tuesday. Only a few rain and snow showers. And finally, by next Wednesday, Halloween, we're going to still be cool. 48 for a high, but dry. Guys?